Hello, my name is James, and today I'm going to be your inspector. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what they call a JC-3, or Junction Cabinet 3 Phase. We're going to talk a little bit about the insta installation process, the components that it takes to put it in the ground properly, and what it is that I need to see when I get on your job site in order to give you a good inspection pass. So at this location, this is going to be where our junction cabinet is going to be installed at. Now what we have here is you see a 4 inch riser coming up through the ground. You also see a bunch of 2 inch risers coming through the ground as well that are going both directions. So I'm going to explain a little bit about this process and why things happen the way they do. So this particular 4 inch right here is actually coming from the riser that is directly behind me. And it's already been bolted to the pole and this riser that's coming through the ground or what we would call a 24 inch radius sweep galvanized 4 inch this is where the primary feed is going to be coming from or coming into the junction cabinet and inside this junction cabinet it will be attached to some bushings along the back side and then from there those go back down into future feeds that's coming out so we have our feed system here that's coming in and we've got three that's going to be going back out. These right here are going to be future to cross the road. And on this side here are going to be future to feed back to another lot to the east of us whenever we're done. So before we set this junction cabinet sleeve in the ground, I just wanted to kind of give you a visual representation of what is coming up through here. So the contractor has done a great job by putting gravel in here and compacting the level of this area. So once our sleeve fits inside the ground, that lip will be four inches above the finished grade and inside of that we'll be looking at the measurements that will be 18 inches from the tops of these sweeps to the tops of that sleeve itself. On these risers right here are these 24 inch galvanized radius risers that are coming through the ground is attached to a five foot stick of galvanized that's heading all directions and those are these are points that create leverage when we're pulling that heavy wire through. So we have to have that on there as, a, as an anchor point to be able to hold these in the ground so they don't come up out of the ground. And on the end of those pieces there, what you'll find is this threaded coupling right here. It's a PVC, what we call FA fitting. And it's threaded on one end and is just PVC to be glued and primered to the other end. This four inches in the ground has the exact same type of fitting. It's just a four inch fitting as, as well. The finished product will have these pulling bells on there as well. These will all, just like the four inches you see below me here, it already is on there. These others over here will also have a two inch bell fitting as well. And this protects the, uh, protects the wire as it's being pulled in through these long distances. So let's go ahead now and install the junction sleeve bottom and let's take some measurements and see about where it's riding at with the ground level. Okay so now we've went ahead and had the contractor place the junction cabinet sleeve into the ditch itself. He's already got it nice and level and now I've showed up to be able to take measurements to be able to look and see what it is I'm going to see. So the first thing it is that I look at I make sure that there's a ground rod installed properly which he's done and all of the sweeps are nice and level where they need to be. So now I'm also going to be looking at a four inch lift from this section here to the ground beside it. So what I'd be able to see on the side of the ground here is a four inches. What I also do is I measure from the inside and I want to see 18 inches from the top of that bell fitting to the top of the sleeve. And what that does is that gives us plenty of room inside to have all those wires come through and wrap around and plug into the four points needed in the back. On this junction cabinet will also be backfilled. He'll probably put a little bit more gravel to make sure that it stays where it needs to. And as long as he's got proper type of backfilling material, this is just in a dirt area, he can go ahead and put the dirt on around it. In some areas, we require 100% gravel backfill because of the location of where it may be. It might be inside a parking lot, up inside the top of a curb, or some kind of commercial area. So be sure and get with your, uh, be sure and get with your engineer or your inspector to clarify what type of backfilling material it is that you may need for a location like this. Here are some examples of what you might find inside. It may not have a riser coming inside of it. It may simply be three 
uh, pipes coming in and three pipes going back out because the run was longer than 500 foot. Or you might see a four inch in the middle and three pipes on one end and three pipes on the other. You're going to have to get with your engineer or your inspector to clarify the purposes and how this junction cabinet will be able to benefit the utility in its, in its uh, proper perspective and what it is that it's feeding. I also wanted to mention that we require you to use primer and glue as, as specific as purple primer. And the reason why is because I can see this without having to look at your pipe joints. I can see this from the top of the ditch. I had the contractor leave this open so I can show you the FA coupling and how it attaches to the steel and also how it is that he's primer and glue these ends. So as part of our installation, most of your primary only has to have 36 inches of cover. However, at these transformer or junction cabinet locations, because of the distance that we need inside the, the facility, we require to have at least a 48 inch ditch, sometimes 50, sometimes 52 to 54, depending on what is gonna be in the ground. So as I said, I had him leave this open so you could be able to see the galvanized and how it attaches to the PVC. But while I'm here, I'm gonna take a measurement to make sure that we have the depth that we need to have. And obviously we have more than what we need here because back there he's tapered up to his dish to 36 inches of cover. I hope I've been able to answer some of your questions you may have had while installing a junction cabinet three phase or even a riser coming inside. If you have any more questions, be sure and contact our main number at 417-863-9000 or 417-831-8888 and that's developer services and they can get you to the proper people to answer any more questions beyond that. So my name is James. Always remember, call 1-800-DIG-RIGHT, call in your locates, give us three days to be able to come out here and locate the facilities. Have a safe day.